Hi my beautiful Aries and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your April the 9th until the 16th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. So for April I'll be doing a giveaway and there will be I will be picking two winners for this giveaway. Each of the winners will get to win either, I mean sorry, each of the winners will get to win a 15 minute reading from me. So if you would like to enter this giveaway all you have to do is either subscribe to my channel or in the description box below. Uh, you will see a link to my Instagram and you can follow me on there. I've also listed all the information you guys need for my one-on-ones, uh, personal readings, in the description box below for you guys. Okay, so let's get in with your romance angels. What can we get for my beautiful Aries? What can we get for the week ahead? So we start off with codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And then we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. We also have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So, you know, for some of you guys, I feel like you may have been, you may be in a relationship or you may have been in a long-term relationship that has ended recently and this person may be coming back. You guys may have realized that, you know, this is a true love and you do want to make it work again. So you're going to be putting in the effort to go back with somebody. I do see here that... There was an energy where you or the person you were with needed to really learn some lessons and really love themselves first in order to really make this connection work. Others of you, this could be a new true love coming into your life and you realizing or needing to realize that you need to love yourself first and really, you know, do all the things that you used to do before you get into this relationship or when you're in this relationship. Be the same way you were when you're single, you know, still go out with your friends, uh, take care of yourself, you know, do things for yourself and don't just be so, you know, codependent in this relationship because that's, you know, a good way to ruin things quickly. You have to have your own life outside of a relationship and I know it's, it's very hard uh, once you get into the relationship to, you know, separate and have time apart, but it is very important, especially if you want something to last for a long time. It looks like there is going to be, you know, a chance given in a relationship and uh, this is a true love for you. Otherwise, there is a true love coming in to your life. Some of you may be deciding to, you know, not go with somebody or to leave someone because you want to focus on yourself. Okay, so what can we get for, yeah, I definitely see you guys are going to be uh, working on yourself. You, if it, this isn't you, this is your partner. Your partner could be a Virgo, but I do see here that you're going to be working on yourself. You're going to be taking some time to really go within and really seek the meaning of your life. You really want to, you know, you may be taking a break from social media, taking a break from going out with your friends and really just focusing on you and trying to get some answers. You could be going to a spiritual source, you know, maybe getting a reading or this could be you working with crystals, doing some healing energy, maybe some meditation. But I see that the focus here is really finding your life's purpose, finding, you know, what makes you feel what makes you feel good? This is really like um, an energy of seeking enlightenment, gaining wisdom and by taking time alone. So I feel like you're going to be taking some space to really do some self-reflection and, con you know, you may be contemplating a certain amount of things and really take some time apart to really do that. Um, I do see that you're going to be planning your goals and really working on your plans and what it is that you want to do within your life. Or if this is about a relationship, you're going to be taking some time to really see if your guys's you know, goals and plans really match up with each other. Is this a partnership that you really want? Is this partnership, you know, what is this partnership doing for you? Is this good for you? Is this bad for you? You know, what are the good things? What are the bad things? You're really just going to be searching within. There is a lot of um, energy here saying that you guys are going to be um, cutting off, you know, anything that does not serve you once you do this. And once you get some enlightenment, when you do your healing or you go within, you're really going to be cutting off anything that doesn't serve you, anyone that doesn't serve you. And really being harsh about this, but it's because maybe in the past you haven't been. Maybe in the past you've 
you know, put everyone before yourself and you realize you can't do that anymore. So you're going to be making a change. I feel like there was a lot of things that were burdening you. And once you realize all this, it's going to be the end of that. Like you're not going to feel burdened anymore. You're going to feel like there's a lift, you know, I mean a weight lifted off your shoulders. And, um, I do see here that there could definitely be somebody from the past coming back towards you. This could have been somebody who's, you know, I feel like this person wants to give you an apology. So this could be somebody who has hurt you in the past. For others of you, this is a soulmate um, that you've known for a very long time. You've had a long relationship with. Others of you, this could be someone from your childhood where you never really got a chance to date because you just never saw them like this. But there is somebody who wants to visit you, somebody who wants to come back. And it does look like it could be an ex. Um, for some of you, this is someone that you have children with. But this is a very, you know, you guys had a really good relationship. Even if there were bad times, it's like this is a true a true love. So if this is somebody coming back, it does look like you are going to be giving them a second chance um, accepting their apology. For some of you, this could be a water sign coming back in. So it looks like you guys are definitely going to be going through a transformation period. Some of you, um, you know, have just been dealing with too many things and it's time like that when you, when you take that time to yourself and you stop, you know, going, you know, dealing with a million things at once or trying to deal with a million things at once and realizing that it's not working because when you're focused on too many things, you really can't give, you know, that one thing that you want to give as much effort as you could if you were to just you know slow it down so I see that this is a transformation period for you guys there's going to be a big rebirth for you guys after you do this enlightenment after you go within and you know things are gonna it's like you're gonna feel like you were just born again really refreshed and you know ready to take on life I see here that uh, you if you're dealing with um, another fire sign it could be you know another Aries it could be a Leo or a Sagittarius but if you are I do see here that there is a potential for a long-term relationship I see here that this is somebody that you could definitely end up getting married to some of you are already married to this person some of you may have children or a pet with this person but I do see here that there is a lot of potential for something long-term and stable with this person this could have been someone that you've already had all of that with and you are going back towards them but I see here that they're gonna be coming towards you with some honest passionate, you know, message, um, you know, expressing their feelings to you. They're going to be very honest and they're going to be very direct. I feel like some of you, you know, a relationship might have had to end in order for it to really last as long as it needed to or as long as it's supposed to. It really had to end so that one of you or both of you could do some growing and I feel like that has happened and now you're going to get that long stability that you've really wanted uh, with this person or with somebody new. You could have ended a relationship and now, you know, that your, long, your real person that you're supposed to be with for the long term, for the long haul, is going to be coming in towards you. I feel like you're going to be moving from a time where you're very cautious about love, cautious about opening up, cautious about, you know, really, you know, expressing yourself and showing how you feel or really just cautious because you didn't trust this person and you're going to be moving out of that time, moving towards a time where you can be very expressive with this person because they're going to be very expressive with you as well. I feel like you guys are both going to be moving towards calmer waters. This is the energy that you guys both have is that you both want to move towards a time that is, you know, a lot calmer, a lot smoother. You're going to be very open. You're going to be very honest with each other because you realize that that is what it takes to make this relationship work. And that is the energy that I have for both of you guys. So you both are thinking this. There's definitely a lot of fire energy here. Um, there's a lot of fire energy and there's a lot of water energy. So you could be dealing with the fire sign or an earth sign. I see Scorpio here. I see Virgo here. Um, also, water is very strong in this uh, reading too. 
So yeah, it looks like by the end of this week, you know, you, you're going to really find yourself. You're going to really be moving in the direction that you want to be moving into. Things were rocky before, but things are going to be progressing. And whether this is you being single and progressing into a new relationship or just progressing on your own into this new happy, you know, more calm and balanced life because you found out what you want. It's like you're going to have some sort of epiphany this week that is going to really lay out the next little bit of your life for you. And things are going to be a lot smoother. Um, but yeah, I do see a long-term relationship here, you know, the end of burdens, end of struggles, and it really comes from you being very straight up, straightforward and direct and having a really honest and open communication with this person that is in your life. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, my information is down below and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye.